My research interests are around applied research in dementia, so that means research that's directly applicable to the lives of people with dementia and their families and those who care for them. So research that's around care and how to improve that or how to understand the needs and experiences of people with dementia and use that to make life better. In particular, my research has focused around care homes and hospitals and how to improve quality of care in those formal care settings. So looking at interventions that staff can implement within those settings to try and improve care. Um, and also looking at staff training and education and how we can better upskill the workforce to be able to deliver better quality care for people with dementia. The scale of dementia in the UK is that there's an estimate of around 850,000 people who are currently living with dementia across the country. So this is quite a significant minority of, of older people. The risks of getting dementia increase the older somebody gets. So as we've got an ageing population, the numbers of people with dementia are likely to increase. Within the Prime Minister's Challenge the National Dementia Strategy and a number of other documents. There's been a real emphasis on the need to train the dementia care workforce to deliver better quality care, whether that be in hospital settings or care home environments. What we do know is there's a huge amount of dementia training available out there. What we don't know is how effective that is. We know some of the training is probably not very good quality. We know some of it's probably much better quality. Um, but there's very little evidence out there about what's really working in terms of giving staff better knowledge and skills about dementia, changing their attitudes and actually their practices, but also most importantly, what happens in terms of patient outcomes. So for the person with dementia who's using the hospital service or in that care home, has that training made a difference to the care that they receive? So this study is about looking at the available evidence we've got and to see what we already know about what works in training education for the dementia workforce. It's about scoping out what's out there in, in England and currently being provided. And from that, then looking at the best models to find out what, what it is that really makes that work. And we expect that's likely to involve a number of factors beyond just the training package itself, but the environment and the setting that that takes place in and the supports to help staff implement the training into actual practice. So we're going to be looking at quite complex case studies in a number of settings to be able to unpick what works and what really makes things work in dementia training. This is going to be a three year study. It's involving three universities, so being led here uh, by myself at Leeds Beckett University but in collaboration with people I've got a, a long-standing research record with um, at the University of Bradford and at the University of Leeds. It's funded by the Department of Health but um, it's been commissioned by Health Education England. It's going to help develop policy around what we do around dementia training and education but also potentially more widely because the project will look at what are the elements that makes it possible to embed any training really into practice in the real world so it's going to be useful for training providers, for the, the government, for higher education providers and for organisations that are providing health and social care.